With sunny skies and warmer weather on the way, that can only mean one thing, a new spring wardrobe. So here to show us the fashion trends for the season is Style Auteur founder Lauren Rothman. Lauren, love it when you come in. Good morning. You always have Happy so many spring. great ideas for fashion. <laughs> yeah, and you look so bright. Thank I mean, it, you. you look so do spring you. when we you look, look at you. We've got the floral trend going on together. Is that what we have? Okay, <laughs> <We're blooming>. good. <laughs> good. <laughs> All right. So what do we need to know about as far as trends go this All season? All right. It is the return of the 70s. So we're saying goodbye to the 80s, goodbye to leggings and tunics, and hello to a higher rise jean, a printed top, and some nice jewelry. Wow. Yeah. You know, I was thinking maybe it was 60s that were coming back because I'm seeing all the bouffant hair and different yeah. things like that. Now you're saying 70s. Yeah, well, there's a little crossover there for sure. Um, but, you know, I think that we've got this big return of the 70s that you saw right off the runway into the glossies. And I've sort of taken my three favorite kind of must have trends for the season. To How make did you it pick easy. Just three. Diagnose. It's hard, <laughs> right? Um, but stripes, whites, and brights. Ooh. That's kind of what I've narrowed it down to. Okay. And you can be a redhead, a brunette, or a blonde, and you can take advantage of any of these three trends. Wonderful. Let's you, take let's let's talk about stripes. Uh, stripes. Okay. I mean I think stripes, I think nautical, right? Yes, and we have a picture. We actually have a picture um, of some stripes. And what's great about that trend is that it is so accessible. We all, it's a little bit of aspirational shopping. We all wish that we were on a yacht. There we go. Okay. Doesn't that just make you want to hop into uh, your private jet and go on vacation? So we've got, you know, stripes everywhere. And it's nice. The return of navy comes in every spring. What could be cleaner than navy and white, right? It's very it's clean, very spring. It's very mm -hmm. easy. And it's very, very easy for everybody to wear. So where are we doing the stripes? I saw it there and it uh, looked like a sweater. Yeah, so I have it on the top. On the I have it on shoes. I mean, you can kind of pick where you want to do it. You know, stripes at the end of the day are most flattering on somebody who's got a straight body type or somebody who's got a pair body type. Because you do want to be careful that horizontal stripes don't make you appear larger. True. So they're really great on those two body types. And if you don't have one of those two body types and still want to wear stripes, then throw it into a shoe or throw it into a pashmina or something like that. I like but it that. is a fun trend and it does give us the return of navy. So that navy, crisp navy blazer, nice navy trousers. So that's also part of the nautical trend. So are we looking at stripes only in navy and white or are they coming in different colors too? For the too? most part, we're seeing them in navy and white only because of that nautical spring-like feeling mm -hmm. that it evokes. But we are then leading into our brights trend. Oh, so brights, like which you and I are wearing. Um, what I love about that trend is, again, no matter what complexion you might have or hair color, brights are easy for everyone to take advantage of. And what's nice is it could be the sherbet colors, it could be the bright oranges. Look at it those colors. Be, I mean, and look at how they've combined them. So you've got the tangerine with the aqua, mm. you've got running of red, red on red ensembles. And even um, the pink with the tangerine is the, or yes, a melon. Yes, mm -hmm. and it really is. It's a rainbow, but it's very stylish. And you know, if you're a little bit of a quieter dresser and you're somebody who likes to keep it just to the hot spots, this is a great trend to throw into a handbag, pop on a shoe, or even add to jewelry. So brights, again, very easy for anyone to take advantage of. Because if, if a dress might be too much, then definitely just throw it into a pop, mm -hmm. earrings, even a headband. So it seemed like we were talking um, last spring or summer season about the citrus colors being hot. Yes. Are they still around this year? We can still go to our bright Absolutely. yellow or bright yes. orange. Yes, and we did see handbags. a lot of yellow. Great memory. Such a fashionista. Mm -hmm. And what's nice is absolutely you can shop your closet for those colors and then throw them in with the turquoise that was hot the year before or a lime green that you might have. So take any color that you love but pair it with another color. I've got to ask you about when you're wearing all this color in, say, in the form of a, of a dress or a top and a bottom. What do you wear on the bottom? for your shoes? And yes. you know, what do you, how do you pair that? Well, you, of course, are exhibiting a great trend that the TV can't see. But what we love is the nude shoe. All right, I will show you. You have to show it off because it's perfect. Let's see if we can perfect. get our camera down here. It's perfect. perfect. Take a look at the my nude shoe. shoe elongates the leg. And that's why I love it. There we go. Because it really, it elongates the leg. So when you are wearing a bright and you don't want to throw a colored shoe with it or you don't want to go with a patent, a black patent's always going to be classic and a nude patent is definitely the modern woman's shoe. And it goes, uh, I like it because it goes so with everything. It's so versatile. Yeah. 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 It goes with everything and it just makes it longer and taller. 
Whites. We've got to talk about whites before whites. we go. So what I love about whites is we saw it on the runway, head to toe. Not only that beachy look, but also that structured white button down that you tuck in to a great pair of trousers or again that higher rise jean. And what I love about all the higher rises that we're seeing is that who doesn't want to get rid of a little muffin top? So tucking in that white button down shirt to a nice pencil skirt or into some of the nice slacks that you see right here in this photo. Um, it's very classic, it's very easy, and again, circling back to that nautical trend, very clean, very crisp, very easy. I'm so glad I didn't give away all my nice white crisp <laughs> shirts when they were not in fashion a, right. a year or two ago, and now we're coming back. And it is great, you're right about the high-waisted pant. You want a shirt to tuck in yeah, with that. Yeah, it makes it easy. And a it belt. Look, yes. Everything looks very tailored then, doesn't it? And don't it? forget to add jewelry. So I've actually included a few of my favorites here. I don't know if you're a Stella and Dot shopper at all, but I have to say, this is one of my new favorite ways to shop. Okay. So I have my favorite Stella and Dot stylist, Shuri Dinkle, and that is how you shop. You actually shop via your own personal stylist, your jewelry stylist. So I actually shopped her collection and brought along some of my favorite pieces. Oh, oh, and shows. what's nice is you don't want to forget to add what I, I love are color the long over there. necklaces. Mm -hmm. Long necklaces with the white button down or with a great sheath and a bright color adds so much. It elongates and it just draws attention to all the right places and disguises from all the ones you want to camouflage. Excellent. So now, don't are we talking about gold tone this season or silver? We're seeing what's, everything. What's We're seeing a nice mix of gold and silver and then we are as you mentioned seeing the colored jewelry so there are some great examples here of whether it's turquoise or the teal or the beads we've got gold coins pearls it's really a time where you can mix and match what I love about Stella and Dot is that it's all celebrity coveted jewelry so these are things that you're actually seeing in the glossies these are things that you're seeing people wearing and that you can emulate at an affordable price wonderful well, you've given us lots to think about as we uh, plan our spring wardrobes <laughs> Lauren Rothman Stylo Tour Thanks Thank for coming you. in. Good to have you.